Hola, buenos días, noches, tardes. All right, so we're, we're going to do um, example number five right now. And uh, now we're going to subtract now. And this is where you really have to be careful if you are subtracting. It's very different than when you just say combine or add, okay? because we have to do a little bit of changing the signs around. So check this out. This is the way that it's going to work here. So we're taking this polynomial, p to the power of 4 plus pq plus 5. So we're taking this, and we're going to subtract this polynomial. 3p to the power of 4 plus 5pq plus 2. Now check this out. We've learned before that any number that's outside right here needs to be distributed. Okay, so we're going to have to use the distribution property, and we need to distribute a negative 1. Again, there's our ghostly 1 right there. Here he is right here, guys. The, the, the ghostly 1. Does that look like a ghost? Looks more like a duck. Okay, oh well. All right, so we're going to distribute this negative one. So the way, all right, so basically what what that means is negative one times three p to the four is negative three p to the power of four. Negative one times a positive five p cubed is a negative five p cubed, you see? And a negative one times a positive two is a negative two. So this is really what we're gonna combine now with this, and I'm gonna just drop all this down. p to the power of four, plus p cubed plus 5. Okay, and so now we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. Like we can combine p to the power 4 and negative 3 p to the power 4, right? Because they have the same base and the same exponent. We can combine p cubed and negative 5 p cubed. We can combine those together. And we can combine, uh, you know, obviously, 5 and then negative 2 because those are the same right there, okay? So, so let's do that. p to the power of 4 minus 3p to the power of 4 is a negative 2p to the power of 4. Because there's our ghostly 1. 1 minus 3, negative 2. 1p cubed minus 5. 1 minus 5 is a negative 4p to the power of 3. And then right here, 5 minus 2 is a uh, positive 3. Can I combine these together? No, you can't because they don't have the same exponent. Already, and uh, you may see the problem written like this again, where they're stacked. Uh, but now look at the directions though. It says to subtract. So all they've done is they've given us the first polynomial and they've given us the second one. And so we need to subtract the second polynomial. So basically, meaning just like the first one, we need to put a little minus sign right here. Okay, and now we have to distribute all of those negative signs. And so, you know, sometimes the problems on the My Math Lab or, you know, or if you're doing problems from a textbook, they may give it to you stacked like this, but and it's gonna it's just gonna say subtract, and they don't they're trying to see if you understand that they want you to distribute this. So, but we're not gonna let them trick us. So we're gonna go ahead and distribute this. That becomes a negative four k to the power of three. Basically, all of the signs change in here. This is going to turn into a negative 6k squared. This will turn into a positive 5k. And this will turn into a negative 8. Okay, So we're going to combine this with this right here. Um, and so maybe the way I'll do it is I'm just going to rewrite this and put it down here. Okay, So 2k cubed minus 3k squared minus 2k, and then uh, plus 5. Okay? Now, if you want to go ahead and combine these now, I'm going to go and, so like when you when you combine, you can just go ahead and just go straight down. You can go like that. You say, hey, but why are you putting a plus sign? It said to subtract. Well, actually, I already did the change of signs. I first had to change the signs, and so now I'm just going to combine them t together, but you must first change all those signs. Negative 4 plus 2 a negative 2k cubed. I want you to notice that I'm only combining these together because they have the same variable and an exponent. I mean, you know, sometimes problems are going to give it to you with their mix, where this will be over here and this will be over there, where they're trying to trick you. So sometimes it's important that you line them up. See how they're all lined up? k cubed are lined up, k squares, k, and then the number. So just be aware of that. Negative 6 minus 3, negative 9k squared, 5 minus 2, and then right here, it gives us a negative 3. Cool beans.